Hello there YouTube and welcome to uh, Top 5. Yeah, uh, so this is my Top 5 Worst Films of the Year. I was going to go for a Top 10 but I couldn't really think up much uh, of the worst films that I've seen this year so... You know, I'm just going to go with <clears throat> the 5 that I've managed to get down so... Here we go, my Top 5 Worst Films of 2019. So, coming, because the year's coming to an end, so, coming in at number five, it is Hellboy. Now, I'm not saying this was a bad reboot. I mean, yeah, one thing I think they did get right was the R rating and the humour, but basically, the one we all asked for was a third all-up, a third follow-up from Guillermo del Toro's uh, two Hellboy films with Ron Perlman. I mean, I can't remember the actor's name now, but I know it's the guy from Stranger Things. He was okay as Hellboy, but Ron Perlman, I think, did it better. But uh, I'm not saying this was a bad remake. In fact, I thought it was a good remake, but viewing it upon a couple more times, I kind of do think, yeah, I, I'm starting to see what people are thinking about this now, yeah. But it wasn't the worst by far. Um, but Coming in at number four, uh, yeah, coming in at number four is Horrible Histories, the movie, Rotten Romans. Yeah, this uh, movie adaptation of the CBBC series and based upon the classic book series, children's book series, I thought was good on the small screen, but on the big screen, no. Had a good cast, but just no. Cringy in a lot of stuff and... Yeah, I just thought, are all these actors in it for the paycheck? I didn't like it. Coming in at number three is The Dead Don't Die. Now, people say that this was a funny one. I didn't think it was funny. I'm sorry, but I really didn't think it was funny. I thought it was boring, didn't make sense to me. I mean, yeah, it had zombies in. But the whole thing with Tilda Swinton's character, what the hell was all that about? It didn't feel relevant to the story. This this film was a mess. I mean, it had a good cast, had the potential to be good, did look good, but for me, I didn't like it. I just hated it. I feel, is the zombie genre really going down now? Is it, is, is it like starting to get to that point where it's been milked to the ground? Quite possibly, maybe. Okay, so moving on. Now this was, would have been my number one pick if it weren't for the number one pick I've already gone for, but number two is Dark Phoenix. X-Men Dark Phoenix. You know, the last one from Fox, and I thought with Dark Phoenix, the Dark Phoenix saga, I thought, you know, maybe from 2006's X-Men Last Stand, they'll have learnt from the mistakes, but they didn't. If anything, I think this film was worse than The Last Stand. In fact, it's probably the worst X-Men film ever. I mean, I thought it was a snooze test. I actually fell asleep during the middle act because I did like it. It was so bad. You know, I just thought, yeah, they don't know what they're doing with this storyline, the Phoenix Saga. I just hope that Disney can do it justice when the time comes for the X-Men reboot. For me, the series from Fox ends on Logan. You know, because Logan, at least that was good and enjoyable and entertaining. Sad, but good. So yeah, Dark Phoenix. So my number one pick is Cats. What the hell were they thinking? Yeah, I think this works as a stage show, but not on the big screen. Oh my god, no. In fact, I saw people walking out of this film... I mean, I, it was so bad, I, I haven't even bothered to review it because I'm just thinking, such a waste of good talent in there from all the, from the cast, from the actors to the singers, such a waste of good talent, and the cats just look weird. And it was, the cats did look disturbing, and even the cockroaches and the mice in that film were bloody creepy. And like, no, nope, I do not like this film. Andrew Lloyd Webber, what the hell were you thinking letting them take one of your great musicals and turn it into that? 
did like Cats. So those are my top five worst films of the year. What are your top five? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are down below in the description, so be sure to check all that out. Uh, I have a horror channel if you want to check that out. They're linked in the cards above with my Whovian channel. That too is linked in the cards above or down below in the description. So yeah, that's it for this video. So, I uh, hope you all have a happy new year. And until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends, goodbye.